stoicism. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of talk about stoicism these days. It's a it's a fascinating philosophy, and uh, there's one that I have used to govern my entire life. In fact, I was a stoic before I even knew that that's what it was called. As a child, I had a mother who uh, I still have her, by the way, beautiful, wonderful woman, love her dearly. Hi, mom. Um, but she was uh, a young mother, and she was raising six kids. Uh, often on her own. My father traveled quite a bit with his job and he was into race cars, so he was off racing a lot. And um, she didn't necessarily have a lot of money, so she was trying to raise kids, didn't have a lot of money, and was uh, often stressed out. And as a result, um, she had a lot of anxiety and concerns about life. And uh, being a child and, uh, you know, catching up on that energy of what she was going through. Um, instead of getting upset myself, uh, I found myself, one, wanting to be not part of the problem. So I didn't want to create more issues for my mother. Um, in fact, I wanted to make life better for my mom. And so I found ways to make her happy. I would find ways to, to, to bring her joy and, and happiness. So you said cleaning around the house. I learned how to cook. I would do things to help my mother. Mostly, though, I just tried to make her laugh. I just loved to make my mom laugh because that would make her relax and get her kind of focused on, on life a little bit better. But as a child, I did not get emotional about things or well I did but as I realized that emotions were not leading me anywhere I wanted to go I learned to separate myself from my emotions I didn't ignore the emotions that's not what it's about it's not about um, uh, depressing or suppressing or anything it's about detaching oneself really not allowing your emotions to be in charge of your decisions be in charge of what you're going through and so as a child, I became very stoic about things. Um, and by that, I mean, I, I didn't worry about things that I had no control over. Because as a child, there's a lot of things I didn't have any control over. And when I accepted that, um, it made my life easier. So I thought, well, what do things, what do I have control over? And as I progressed through life, um, it helped me immensely. Now, later on in life, I started studying philosophy, and I learned about the Stoics, uh, Zeno, Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, among others. And I realized that, hey, here, here's the philosophy I've been living my whole life, the Stoicism. And really, the heart of Stoicism is, uh, in fact, focusing on right now. Not about the past, not about the future. It's not ignoring the past. It's not about not planning for the future. It's not a, a very hedonistic, oh, I'm just uh, I'm doing, doing what feels good. That's not what it's about. It's just about being realistic. It's about seeing the world for what it really is and accepting that and realizing how one can um, live life and be a part of life um, without getting uh, full of anxious depression and anger and rage. Because we see a lot of injustice in this world. We see many things we would like to change. But we feel powerless in those things. And uh, some people would suggest that Stoicism way is surrendering and just, just letting uh, things happen. But that's not what Stoicism is about at all. Um, it's about being realistic about how to accomplish things. It's realizing what is it about a situation that needs to change that I can change and how best and most effectively can I change it. It's not about surrendering power. It's about realizing where your power is and using it to your advantage. Using it in a way that actually yields positive changes. And that's why I'm a Stoic. And that's why I love Stoicism. And I love to teach people about Stoicism. 
and what I'd like to show you about Stoicism. So I invite you to join me on my journey into philosophy in general. So we begin with the Stoics, Stoicism.